All right, in this video, we're going to add the categories and subcategories to our sidebar widget. So over here on the right-hand side in this particular layout, we're going to head back over to Appearance and Widgets. You've probably seen a widget area called Sidebar filled with default widgets before. Here it is here in the middle. Let's clear out all of the widgets. So let's clear out recent posts, recent comments. Remember, this is our store, not necessarily a blog. So we'll get rid of categories and even the meta and the archives. And let's get rid of search as well. So sidebar is now empty. Let's go ahead and find the product search. And here it is. Click and put it in the sidebar and click Add Widget. And there it is. Let's go ahead and get the product categories widget as well. Scroll down until you find that one, product categories, and add it to the sidebar. And there we are. And we've got some options here. We'll leave it as show hierarchy here. Once I head back over to my home page, you'll see now I've got product categories, and there's my hierarchy. And let's hide empty categories. You'll remember we have an uncategorized category, which is the default, can't be re removed, but it's empty. So let's go ahead and just hide those empty categories. Click Save. Come over and hit Refresh. There's our search bar and our product categories. Clicking on one takes me to, obviously, that category. How you organize the layout of your store is entirely up to you. There isn't a right or a wrong way to do it. You might want to test different layouts to see how your customers respond. Try two different layouts for a while and see which one gets you more sales. Testing can be extremely valuable for your e-commerce store, and we highly recommend that you run as many tests as you can to see what kind of changes get more sales, because of course, that's the point of having a store. Well, now that we've seen what the WooCommerce products category widget does, let's explore other WooCommerce widgets. Head back over to your appearance and your sidebar again. And let's take a look at some of the other widgets. Of course, the cart widget is probably pretty important. So let's go ahead and assign that over there. And frankly, people usually want to see their cart at the top, at least I usually do. So I'm going to click and drag that and put it up to the top. Once again, something you can test. Now you'll notice that this particular theme also has the cart built into the header. So once again, it's completely up to you if that's something you want to do. Sometimes if someone's down here on the page, they can still see their cart. So again, totally up to you. Looking at some of the other really awesome widgets here, you can filter products by attributes, filter products by price, filter them by rating. Again, these are all things that you can play around with. For instance, the filter product by attributes is particularly useful. If you have attributes like colors, sizes, or cuts like we already have set up, then it's a really helpful way to organize your store. Filtering by price is another good option. Price is easier to set up and is helpful on just about any store. Let's go ahead and do that one. So I'm going to click on filter product by price and add it to my sidebar. And that's all you have to do. Let's go back over. Before we do that, I am going to remove the cart because it's just not necessary. But here's what it looks like. And again, you can check out right from there. So I've removed that. Now, you'll notice as well that the filter by price isn't showing up. Well, we're on a category page. Let's go ahead into clothing and click on t-shirts. And now my filter by price shows up, which makes sense because I'm now on a product page that has a variety of products with different prices. And you saw as soon as I filtered by that price, the more expensive item disappeared and left the plain purple shirt. There's some other widgets there, including recently viewed, recently reviewed, and a product tag cloud. Some of these are just terrific. Let's go ahead and add the recently viewed products. Add that to our sidebar as well. Always remembering you can move these up and down as you need. Once I go back out to my home page, then you'll now see the recently reviewed products because I looked at the plain purple shirt just a moment ago. And if you're not seeing that, go ahead, click on an actual item, 
go back out to my home page, and you'll see now that that's been updated. It doesn't show up while you're actually in the item. So now that you've done all of these widgets, this is what you should see. The search products widget, the product categories widget, the recently viewed products, clicking into the actual product pages. Now you'll also see the filter by price. So as you can see, you can stock up your sidebar with some great features that help make your store more pleasant and easier to use. In the next set of videos, we're going to extend this to look at how to customize the look and feel of your theme in order to make your store even more pleasant to your customers.